sign stands just off U.S. Highway 19, about 60 miles north of Marietta. From that point, it directs traffic down the access road to Air Force Plant 67, operated for the United States Air Force by Lockheed Georgia Division. Not too many months ago, this 11,000-acre site at Dawsonville was only an expanse of wooded hills. Before operations begin, the hot cells are undergoing a rigid checkout for possible radiation leaks. The Thousand Curie source travels in both lateral and vertical patterns, so that all surfaces of the cells are exposed. In operation, the hot cells will be highly versatile. Converted into a single room, four railroad cars can be accommodated with ease, or the space can be divided into as many as four separate cells by means of huge partition blocks. On December 14, 1958, the Dawsonville reactor went critical. Capable of irradiating six railroad cars of material at once, this facility of the Air Force is the most extensive ever activated for the study of nuclear effects on large aircraft systems. Since the day of criticality, the reactor has been undergoing constant test and observation. And as the first quarter of 1959 becomes history, Georgia nuclear laboratories look to the time when full-scale operations will begin, firm in the belief that from this Air Force research facility may well come the answers to speed the day of atomic flight.